Hello, um, I'm Helen McDonald and um, I wrote Vesper Flights and I'm really thrilled to hear that you're reading it um, as part of the Randall Islands Literary Programme. I'm really sorry I can't be with you properly virtually um, but I wanted to say hi to everybody and talk a little bit about my um, the uh, amazing evening I spent with Andrew Farnsworth um, on the Empire State Building on a very beautiful May evening watching migrating birds. Um, in fact, I went up the day before as a kind of, you know, reconnaissance trip and it was really funny. It was incredibly foggy that night. And I was the, I, I got to the top really quickly because, you know, most sensible people decided that there was no reason to go up the tower at all, the building at all. So I got to the top and there was, um, the, the building was lit up uh, with purple light that evening, so and the, the fog was everywhere. It was like being in a Prince video, and all the, the security people and the, were, were all laughing at me. They were like, what are you doing here? You can't see anything. So, And then the next night, as you know, if you've um, read that ch chapter, I, I went up and um, not really knowing what to expect, and it was this incredible heavy migration night, and it was lovely to meet Andrew. And um, this night really transformed not only how I thought about tall buildings, um, but about the air itself. You know, I'd always assumed the air was this empty, vacant place. And I had no idea how much life was teeming within it. And um, so, we, you know, we, 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 we stood there for, for quite a long time, you know, watching these, you know, birds coming over this, you know, that, these birds, these frail creatures pulled north by their magnetic compasses and their will. And um, it was unbearably moving, you know, watching them. I, I say in the piece, that it was a little bit like like slow tracer fire or stars. You know, they were being uplit from below by, by the lights. And uh, it was it was really very, very astonishing. And as Andrew probably would say, you know, using um, radar maps to, to see these sort of blooming sort of... Uh, thick kind of clouds of biology moving through the air. Um, it was amazing. And I, you know, the next day, I, I think I went for a walk, or the day after that, I think went for a walk in Central Park and I saw all these, these warblers that had come to earth uh, messing around in, 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 in the trees and bushes. And um, they became different things to me. Now I, I, I had this sort of knowledge of, of, of this sort of nocturne of, of sort of ice crystals and, and, and clouds that they were, they were going through and and I think that night more than anything else you know I love New York it's one of my favorite places on earth and um, the night up on the Empire State Building watching that migration changed how I felt about the city um, it became connected to all the other places that these birds had come from and where they were going to and it seemed to me that you know um, we live in a world where connecting with nature is is often very hard, particularly if you live in an urban environment. And the the thought that unseen over our heads, you know, twice a year, there are these enormous movements of, 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 of birds was, you know, um, a life changing realization, really, that, you know, even if we can't see it, it's there, the plenitude of, of life, it's threatened, but it's still there. And um, I really hope that um, some of you might get to experience that. You know, if you could maybe get up into a tall building at some point in the spring migration or in the fall migration when there are even more birds, because they're all the young ones too, um, and experience some of that sublimity for yourself. Um, and I'm, I'm very sorry that I can't be there, as I say, with you all. And I'm sorry not to be able to hang out with Andrew as well, who's a great person. And I really hope you have a, a lovely, a lovely time today. So um, thank you very much again. And I hope that I might meet some of you in person in the future. Take care.